What's going on guys, Rafi right here and today in this video stay tuned because you might be interested in this product that I have here next to me. So if you want to know more stick around and find out what I have to say about the new product here from Mobile. Now, if you're new to my channel, uh, I do a lot of tech reviews, naked reviews, and also travel channel. So if you like any of those subjects right there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe to the channel. And also follow me on social media. It's very important that you also follow me on social media because I do put a lot of stuff there before it comes to YouTube. So it is Rafi on the score red. Follow me there. Also hit that like and subscribe, like I said. And with that said, we're going to take a look at what this product has to offer. This is going to be the uh, BXR10 Pro. I did a review already on the BRX10 microphone, which is funny enough, is the one that I'm using right now mounted in my camera. The audio that you're getting right now is actually coming from that mic. I'm using it as a uh, shotgun mic. It is on top of my camera. But this one right here is actually the pro version of that model right there. So this is the same model, the BXR10, but the pro side. Now, if you notice the setup's a little bit different, I wanna try something different today. Gotta give you guys a different angle. So hit me in the comments down below if you like this setup, if you like this style, this camera angle. But this time, kinda wanna spice up uh, things a bit more and I kinda wanna do like a side shot. So let me know if you like this shot from here. Let me down in the comments down below. Now the good people over there at mobile, again, they reach out to me, they say, Rafi, you know, I want you to review another microphone. And I say, perfect, sounds good, because I've been using their product for quite a while now, and I appreciate they supporting in this channel, sending a review unit for me, for you guys, you know, so you guys can enjoy whether they're a good product to use or not. I'm gonna say right off the bat that this company makes amazing quality products, you know, there's nothing else to say there. I've used other products, you know, even more expensive products, but they don't really like provide that, you know, that good, you know, quality in my opinion. There's something either they record probably too high, they may record it too low, the wind uh, reduction might not be good enough, you know, the quality, they, they maybe run some battery, and you don't want something to run out of battery when you're trying to record something, right? So hopefully this video, you know, help you guys uh, decide whether you want to get this mic right here, the pro version, or the regular version, which is they're not really far apart in price. I believe this one now runs for forty nine dollars, some change, and the one that I'm using in mounted in the camera is like thirty nine something. So if you want to pick up, you know, any of this product, remember that you can always go in the link right here down below and click any of those links that will help and support the channel. So like I said, this is a super cardio condition condenser shotgun mic and if the regular one reduces a lot of like ambient noise and it works perfect I'm pretty sure this one will do even better you know this one is also very compact and powerful as it says right here max noise reduction is universal compatibility you can use it with smartphones you can use it with computers you can use it uh, with DSLR mirrorless pretty much it there's I think both cable comes in here and we're gonna take a look it's gonna be the first time for me opening for you guys it also come here with a right coat liar shock mount you know right up liar shock mount so we're gonna take a look at it let me show you here what it looks like and what it's compatible with and all this stuff let's see right here hopefully you guys can see it perfect and you know one thing that you want to do also is activate you know the two years warranty on it once you get this microphone any microphone uh that you get if it has extra warranty you do want to use it uh you want to activate that warranty so let's open it up and now one of the things that I like about mobile is their package. It's a hard shell case. You can actually um, hit it and anything like that. It might not be waterproof, but it could be water resistant to a, to a certain degree. All right, so it comes already with some padding inside. I'll show you guys here in a second what it looks like here, some padding. Excellent. And then we have some zippers here. So you can actually use this case for all this stuff and then use it for other things. You can probably store all the cables, and then right off the bat, what we see right here is actually the microphone. We have to have like a windscreen already with branding here. This is like the Ferry or the Cat and the Rico Lyre adapter shock right there. And then this right here, we got cables. And I'll show you what those cables are all about. So let's take a look at it. The first cable that we get to have here is the camera cable. So this one is the one that we're going to use from a DSLR into the microphone. 
and let's see here and the other one is the smartphone cable okay so this is the one we're going to use if we want to use an iphone an android anything with it you know a 3.5 jack right here and i'll give you more information more tech specs in a second here all right let's get the microphone out all right so i do see that it's a little bit bigger and heavier as well just by just by a little bit it is a little bit bigger though it has the windscreen already now all these microphones are shotgun microphones so basically what it what is that is is that you have to speak in front of it while the pattern is getting is right direct in front of it so if i'm thinking this way the microphone is mounted kind of like in the top of the microphone there if you want to turn your head and you're not speaking this way it might not capture the best audio possible if it's more from the sides or from the back it might not get that audio uh that good audio that you want so you do want to use it facing you now when i remove it from here it's a little bit thicker than the uh regular one right here okay i see so once you plug in a, a line out right here you can also plug in a pair of uh, headsets so you can monitor your audio which is a great thing to do because some DSLRs and some mirrorless camera don't have a way to monitor the audio like for example I'm using the A6600 Sony and that one does have one but if you use the A6500 that one doesn't have one and anything from there below so it is good to monitor your audio you know to make sure that you know you're capturing good audio then this is the dead cat or furry you know windscreen it's an additional one so we have one right here and then this one can go on top to add even more uh wind reduction okay that's pretty cool probably why it's core pro and this is the uh, Ryko liar shock mount okay it's in red that's nice shock mount this one pretty sure is gonna expand all right so now we have the microphone mounted right here it is a little bit bigger than the other one but it's really not by much uh, and then we take it out that is what we what it looks like when we take it out so like i said you know that's pretty much it that comes here in the box you know we have the two cables we have the extra fairy cat the uh, recorded shot mount and then we have also the uh, microphone up here with an additional uh, port right here so you can monitor the audio that's pretty good and then again we talked about the case so that's pretty much it all right so what we're gonna do right now now that we have everything laid out right here is pretty much mount this microphone on top of the camera and kind of see the difference between the pro version and the non pro version you know the bxr 10 and the bxr 10 pro and then hopefully you guys can hear the difference and then let me know which one sounds the best you know in the comments down below and then after that what we're trying to do is actually go outside and try it out with wind cars you know a lot of ambient noise to see how it works and how it performs doing a blog you know like a blogging because that's pretty much the use that a lot of people are gonna you know use it for so that's definitely the use that i'm going to use it for so let's see if it's uh, worth the upgrade from the regular one to the pro so stick around and let's see how this microphone performs let's go all right guys so now that we have the uh, microphone mounted into the camera this is the pro version and it's actually using also the cable that came included in the box let me know how it sounds does it sound better for you guys does it sound the same i actually have not heard you know this audio file so i might you know i have to listen to it when i'm like editing the video uh but i think it's gonna sound you know maybe a little bit better because it might supposed to have better microphones inside the one thing that i noticed already while i was setting it up is that maybe the right cut mount probably shakes too much it might be too wobbly to be honest i kind of like the microphone to stay very steady so the regular one let me see if i pull it right here the regular one right here does have this very steady so when you're actually moving with the camera it's staying with the camera so i do kind of like that already that's probably why i like this microphone so much all of that there obviously audio but this one right here the one when i was putting it in the pro version it was kind of like wobbling like too much and i don't like when microphones wobble too much you know because they will create and they will pick up those type of annoying sound but so far you know uh, i think it's gonna sound better i think i'm not sure like like i said you know let me know in the comments down below but i like this mount better you know to be honest the regular one the b 
XR10 have. I do like it, you know, and, and so maybe, maybe I'll keep with this one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see how this one sounds and then I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Let's continue. What's going on guys? So right now what we're doing is actually testing out the mic. I got the VX Pro mounted right now on the camera. And what you hear now is actually the mic with just a regular windscreen. It's actually I'm over here in a like a a restaurant. You can actually hear a lot of ambient noise, a lot of sounds, people, and things like that. So let me know what you guys think, how this microphone sounds like in an indoors environment. It's kind of like a but I'm doing this like a blogging way right now, so that's kind of how most of the people are gonna use this microphone right here. Then what I'm gonna do, actually gonna go outside and kind of walk around and then talk uh, as I'm walking around. So kind of do like a blogging more style from there. So let's see, you know, let me know in the comments down below how this sounds and let's continue. All right, so now we are walking, so whatever, sounds you hear excuse me if i have to wear the mask but we're in a public place mm -hmm. you might see in a little bit we're actually where we are but uh this is kind of what you will hear uh using the uh vx pro microphone connected to the camera so let's continue walking and exploring and blogging but let me know in the comments down below how does it sound does it sound pretty good let me know kind of would like to hear your guys thoughts so let's continue guys All right, we are about to go now on a safari expedition. It's the best place, I guess, to try out the microphone and see how it captures all those sounds. Now, Anaha was first born. They do weigh in here for about 80 to 100 pounds. And they're excellent swimmers. The older that they get, the less that they swim. And then one of them just kind of sink down to the bottom of the river and lock their chubby little legs across the bottom of the riverbed to make to move along. Now, so there to the left, you're going to see some really large white birds. Those are called pink back pelicans. This is a Maasai giraffe. We can tell because of patches on its skin. They kind of look like someone took a crayon just said scribble outside of the lens. That's a very irregular pattern. Cold tent is actually found in a lot of our electronic devices. So the thing that you can do for these elephants is make sure that once you upgrade to the newest electronic device, you go back and recycle your old one. The better way to look at it if you don't see her now, you see there's a tree that's laying down in the middle of the yard there. Right in front of it is the cheetah. Now I can't tell the difference between a male and a female lion because of the mane. Males have a mane, the females do not. So of course this one sitting closest to us does have that mane, therefore he is a male. And a very majestic one at that. Alright guys, so now after listening to the audio of this bike, definitely have to say that it sounds a little bit better than the universal one, but still here are some pros and cons about this bike. And there also my product review overall. I think this is a great mic. If you want to get you know, a great mic for any type of audio, you should definitely consider mobile. Uh, remember to check the link in the description down below. And that's it guys. So, you know, so I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to hit that like and subscribe to be notified for more videos like this. I want to thank mobile again for sending this mic out to me. And don't forget to also check me on Instagram at Rafi underscore red. And with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Rafi Red signing out.